Hey everybody, this is Joe from NC Piedmont Outdoors coming to you again from my hunting property and what am I going to cook today? So today I'm going to make some uh, chicken chili mac and cheese. So I've got some Frank's hot sauce. I've got a little uh, spice packet of McCormick's mild uh, chili seasoning that I'm just going to use about probably about half of that. I've got some uh, ragu, a traditional uh, sauce here. I'm going to include. I've got some Velveeta cheese packet. This includes jalapeno. Uh, I've got some light red kidney beans. I've got a container of chunk chicken breast. I've got some uh, green, fresh green, green pepper and some onion that I'm going to cut up. I'm going to use my Playcom cutting board there. I've also got my uh, Pathfinder skillet. I'm going to use that to cook. I've got some Crisco oil. I've got my Gerber Complete. Uh, which I'm going to use for my uh, spoon and spatula. And I've got my, uh, as always, my Pathfinder canteen cook set. Well, I got some water in there to clean up after. So, And, of course, my Coleman stove. I'm going to use that again today. So still working on fixing it, but I'm going to use it again today. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the stove lit, and we'll start putting these ingredients together and show you how we're going to make this meal today. All right, everybody. So I've got the uh, stove lit, so I'm just going to kind of let that warm a little bit. And then I'm going to take out my green pepper i've got my mora knife here so i'm just going to use that to uh, see if i can get that out there you go and i'm going to use that to cut up this green pepper and onion i just ran out of the house with it this morning so i still got the center part so that's all right we'll throw that to the woods and let <laughs> the animals have that piece so i'm just going to add some nice green pepper and onion and here i'm just going to chunk this Cut this into chunks. That'd be perfect. I figure I only took about half of a green pepper. I figured that was enough for what I'm going to do today. So, and the onion was already chopped. I just had that in the freezer left over from some of the other cooking we've done at home. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that. Yeah, it's perfect. So just like that. So I'm going to take some uh, Crisco oil here, and I'm going to add that into our pan. Uh, I just want to make sure that um, you know we get that oil nice and hot before we. Um, put it over put the put the uh, onion and pepper in there so we'll go ahead and add it a little uh, there we go perfect okay so let's go ahead and get the um i'm just going to go ahead and move the camera here a little bit so maybe you can see a little bit better there you go so i'm going to go ahead and get the oil in that uh, pathfinder skillet and get let that start heating up and then i will get once it's hot, I'll go ahead and get the pepper and onion dropped in there. So this should be a fairly quick and easy recipe. Um, so I got a can, again, Walmart, uh, great value chunk breast chicken. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up now. Get that done. I'm, I'm going to drain it this time. I'm not going to use the liquid from it, so I'm just going to do that off camera here. So. So that's done, good and green. Take that lid off and make sure we get that garbage. All right, let's try a little piece of pepper and see. All right, not quite ready yet, but we'll use that piece of pepper as our test case. So once that starts uh, sizzling a little, we'll bring you back and uh, we'll kind of show you putting this all together. All right, so we've got the oil hot enough. I'm gonna add the other peppers onion. There we go. Okay. Add a few more from the plastic bag. Cool. Alright, get that in the trash. I'm going to go ahead and use my, take apart my Gerber complete tool. And I'll use my spatula and we'll go ahead and add the chicken as well. Alright, get that all in there so you can see that. This is going to be great. Alright, get this all cleaned out. Perfect. Okay, make sure that gets in the garbage. Alright, so now we're going to let this heat back up. So I'm going to let that chicken, uh, onion, and pepper, as I said, heat back up. Um, and then uh, once that starts to get cooked a little bit and kind of get those onions um, a little translucent, maybe a little brown, a little pepper uh, cooked through, then we'll go ahead and add 
some of our spices and the rest of the ingredients. So let me cook that, and then we'll bring you back when we're ready to add some more stuff. All right, everybody, so a lot of the moisture has kind of um, gotten cooked off from the chicken, pepper, and onion. So um, I'm going to go ahead now and add my um, some McCormick's uh, mild chili spices. You know, it's funny, when I started this video, I said it was going to be, you know, chicken, chili, mac, and cheese. I don't have any mac. There's no macaroni in this. This is more of just chicken chili uh, with some jalapeno cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and add... Uh, that's about that's about good. So it's about about half of this spice packet because again I don't need it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the spices, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this ragu uh, to kind of spaghetti tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna add that in there. Get that in there. Oops, did I lose the gas? Oh, I did lose the stove. So let me just turn off the gas flowing out, and we'll go ahead and add this tomato sauce in there. So I love these individual packets. Uh, I've used them in some of my other videos. I thought, you know, making some kind of chicken chili um, would be great. So I'll go ahead and add that. If I need to add a little more water, I will. But right now I'm just going to add that packet. Okay. We'll make sure that gets... So let me go ahead and... As I said, you see in my other videos, I'm having some issues with the stove. So let's see if I can... There we go. All right. Let's get that cooking again. That's another video I'll be working on. I got something really special planned for this stove, so stay tuned for that. Let me go ahead and just mix this around. Kind of get this all together. There we go. All right. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be more of a uh, chicken chili kind of with uh, some jalapeno Velveeta cheese. So definitely a chicken cheese chili kind of meal maybe? Yeah, no no mac, so sorry about that. <laughs> totally forgot to uh, bring that from home, so this will have to do, but I think this is gonna turn out delicious. So, okay, let me go ahead, let me let that heat through, and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to add the beans and the uh, Velveeta cheese, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, just a quick word for some of the supporters of the channel. First Slammer Series turkey calls, they're made by a hunter for hunters. If you're looking for a new turkey call, visit www.slammerseries.com. Also, Aqua Leisure Services, LLC, serving the Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and surrounding areas, meeting all your pool and spa needs. Signed scientists, providing a broad range of services, including wall, murals, vehicle wraps, design, print, and marketing services. Regardless of your business requirements, their experts are up to the task. Visit www.sciencescientist.com or call 919-685-7641. Also, Tactical Creations. We're a small, personalized business that's here to help you personalize items to make the gift that you give that much more special. Visit www.tacticalcreation.com or call 770-548-2691. If you're interested in purchasing any NC Piedmont Outdoors apparel or Slammer Series apparel, visit our Teespring site. The link is in the description box. All right, folks, so this is kind of cooking nice and getting nice and warm. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, light red kidney beans. I'm just going to open those up. I'm going to drain out the liquid over here away from you. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of water uh, from my uh, Pathfinder Canteen cup into that can of beans just to kind of rinse them a little bit more. Do that. See, I just added some, some liquid in there just to kind of rinse them out. So, okay, the stove is still lit, so we're still good. Okay. Boy, that stove is just giving me nothing but problems today. Look at that. Got to get this thing with that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of these beans into our meal here. Perfect. Okay. The rest of the beans I'll, the rest of the beans I'll take home. I don't need to have all those in here. Add, add. Okay. It's cooking. Alright. Cook those up. Alright. 
Now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of moisture in here. I think it's a little bit, a little too dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a splash of water. There we go. I don't want it to get too dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this uh, packet of Velveeta uh, cheese, and this has jalapeno in it. So let's do this. Open this up. Oh, the garbage. All right, yeah, we're still lit. And we're just gonna add that in. Boy, that looks, it looks absolutely terrible, but it tastes actually really, really good. Stove lit. There we go. Turn it up. All right. Let's see. We can mix this all up. Okay. All right. Mix this together. All right. So what we're gonna do now is. I'm going to go ahead and just put my lid, put my Pathfinder skillet lid, and let that cook. So this will be an interesting meal. This will be, uh, like I said, a chicken chili with jalapeno Velveeta cheese. Um, yeah, so no mac, but, you know, just kind of a chicken chili with uh, some Velveeta cheese. So interesting combination here for, for lunch today. So this is a different meal, uh, certainly that I've ever made before. Well, a little bit different, I should say. So let's go ahead and let that cook for a while. And then as soon as it's ready, I'll bring you back for a quick taste test. All right, hey, everybody. Just turned off the stove because this was percolating nicely. And wow, look at that. Absolutely amazing. It smells great. The cheese is melted in. So basically, this is a chicken chili with Velveeta jalapeno cheese, red beans, red kidney beans, some uh, green pepper and onion. Absolutely delicious. Smells delicious. I'm going to go ahead and give a taste test here. Make sure I get a chicken, a piece of pepper, and some bean. And look at that. I'm going to go ahead and eat that right now. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That is really good. Really good spice. I'm going to go ahead and add... A little bit of Frank's red hot sauce because I just like a little more spice. Let's go see if I can rip this. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and add some Frank's red hot in here. Oh, yeah. Love, love it. You can get these packets everywhere I go. I try to grab those packets everywhere I go so I can add them to my meals. So, oh, I'm going to mix that in. Have a little more spice to this. Look at that. This is a full meal. And again, everything in here uh, you could take with you at camping, you could take with you on the trail. Nothing requires refrigeration. This is just absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now. Mmm. That kick from the Frank's Red Hot and the jalapeno is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my uh, lunch here at the property. So with that, thanks everybody for watching. Please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, appreciate everybody's views. We're, uh, as I said, past at this point, we're past 110 subscribers, heading towards 200. Can't wait. But uh, if you have any comments or anything, please go ahead and add them. I'll be happy to respond to them. And again, thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate all the support. Everybody, you take care, and we'll have another video for you soon. Thanks. Thanks for watching NCP Mode Outdoors Camping, Fishing, and Hunting Adventures.